Hi everyone, Angela here. In this video, I'll show you how I make these hair elastics with a bow. I'm using 100% quilting cotton, but you can use any lightweight fabric. Cut one main piece and one for the center. You'll need a hair elastic and some matching thread. I'm just using yellow so you can see what I'm doing. Thread a needle with a nice long length and knot together at the end. Fold the long piece in half matching the edges and then fold in half again. From the top right corner, mark in three quarters of an inch. From the bottom corner to that mark, cut away the sides and then open up. From the top right corner, mark in one and three quarter inches. From there, mark one and a quarter inch. We'll leave an opening between these marks. Clip or pin if you need to. Fold the smaller piece in half, matching the longer edges, and then mark a one inch opening in the center. I'm using a Brother NV50S sewing machine. The link for this and the tools I use can be found down in the description. Make sure to use coupon code Notches NV50S for the special offer. Using a quarter of an inch seam allowance, hang on to your thread, start by back tacking, stitch to that first mark, and back tack again. Lift the foot and needle, skip over to the second mark, back tack, continue stitching the seam, and back tack to finish. To stitch the longer piece, start by back tacking at the fold. Stitch until your quarter of an inch from the edge, with the needle down, lift the foot and pivot. Continue stitching and back tack at the first mark. Skip over to the second mark, back tack, stitch until you get to the fold and back tack to finish. Trim all the threads and then trim all the corners making sure not to cut any of the stitching. Put something inside to help separate the seam, finger press it open flat and then place the seam side down. Stitch both ends closed, back tacking at the start and finish. Trim all the corners and then through that little opening, turn right side out. Use a point turner or knitting needle to carefully push out all the corners. For the longer piece, at each end, separate the layers, push the fabric out through the opening to turn right side out, and then push out all the corners. There's no need to close the openings. Press the small piece, and then for the longer piece, adjust the seam so that it's right in the center and press all around. Flip it over so that the fold is at the top, fold it in half, press the center, and then open up again. Mark the center, and then mark two inches on either side. From those marks, fold over on an angle until there's about an inch of the end below the bottom edge. Turn over to the front and draw a line down the center. Pull down the center of that top bottom edge so that it matches that bottom corner. Flatten out the top to the sides and then clip it in the center to hold it in place. Starting from that bottom edge, Push your needle in through all the layers, and then out again about a quarter of an inch. Slide the needle back a bit, go through the layers and out again, remove the clip, slide your needle back, and then in and out one more time with the needle coming out through the top. You should have three pretty even folds. Pull the needle and thread right through, and then wrap the thread around tightly five or six times. Turn to the back and then sew one stitch to the left of the center. Take the small piece and flip it around so that the side with the opening is centered onto the back. Sew along the edge to anchor it in place. Wrap the center piece up and around the front. 
Place the join of the elastic on top and then wrap the end over it about half an inch. Fold it over and adjust it so that the elastic is right in the middle of the back. Turn it around and at the sides, stitch through all the layers above the elastic a few times. Now push your needle through the fabric so that it's below the elastic and then slip stitch across the bottom to the other side. Push the needle through the fabric so that it's on top of the elastic and again sew around a few stitches. To make a knot, put your needle right beside the last stitch, pull until you have a small loop, go in between and pull tight. Do this one more time and then put your needle through the fabric and out the center piece. Fluff it up so that it's nice and pretty and now you've got a wonderful scrap buster that makes a fantastic gift or a product to sell. Thanks again for watching, take care and see you in the next video.